Hey there, uh, I uh, had an AC problem. Uh, my circuit breaker here uh, kept tripping and uh, I kept resetting it, hoping that it was just the heat because we've got unbearable heat here, you know, 107, 110, 104 days. It's not been real good. It's been really hot and the AC's been running a lot and it's really hard on the unit. But anyway, uh, what had happened is I thought the uh, AC capacitor had gone bad until uh, I, I put one of the videos on my uh, uh, DIY channel here and uh, you can check it out and it, it'll do a hum and then it'll do a ink. So that'll tell you when the capacitor is going bad and that, that it's not the fan's not blowing. But what mine was doing was just basically doing the hum. It was just humming and humming and humming. So I'd come out here and reset the circuit breaker. Well, after I reset the circuit breaker late at night last night around eight o'clock, uh, it, uh, it, it, it tripped right in front of me like five minutes later. So I went to touch it to turn it back on and that sucker burnt my finger. Okay, so then I knew something was wrong. Something was really wrong. Either there was a short or, or the breaker is just bad. So I went ahead and uh, uh, did some, some YouTube searching and uh, they say a hot, hot, uh, if you touch it with your finger, use your back of your finger and touch it. And if that, that sucker burns you or it's so hot you have to pull back real quick, that, that's telling you right there the circuit breaker is bad. So I went down to my local Lowe's and uh, picked up a circuit breaker, shut off all these first, made sure all my computers were shut down and completely off, and the circuit breakers were cut off to them or just unplugged them from the wall after I shut them down. Then you come in here and you turn all your circuit breakers off, all your circuit breakers off, then you shut off the main circuit breaker, then take off your panel, pull it open, and uh, you go right to the circuit breaker. You gotta remember to count, one, two, three, that's my bad one right there. And and uh, uh, remove it and uh, uh, either you have the replacement part on station or sometimes what happened with us uh, we had to go back twice because the one that they gave us would not fit so there there are certain ones that only go in certain panels so you have to be specific so I had to go back and get this specific uh, circuit breaker to replace it so I had to turn all the power back on and tape off the wires and take this unit this one out which basically just flips this way you just you can flip them you can use a screwdriver and, and just gently pry them they'll pop out you take off the wires or you can take off the wires first and then tape them off especially with power off make sure your power is completely off take it off and uh, tape them off make sure they're good and secure and then uh, take the circuit breaker back to to uh, where you where you bought your other one which I had to return and uh, and find the correct one that goes with this this type of panel because it panels to all take certain type of circuit breakers and they all have little back sides that on them that are some are long some are short and they will only fit into the groove of the feed so anyway make a long story uh, as short as possible here I uh, went ahead and replaced the circuit breaker as now I can touch the circuit breaker the units are running right now it's as cool as can be so sometimes it's not always the capacitor or just the motor it's just a bad breaker when breakers go bad they get really hot or you'll have to do a voltage test I also put that video uh, on my uh, uh, likes also that there's a that it's either my most liked or liked look under those and you'll see a couple of different ones that'll tell you uh, uh, how to to check a bad circuit breaker. So that's it. Hope this helps you out. Work for me.